Hi guys, welcome back to another Craft With Me video. My name is Maggie, for those of you that are new. Today we are going to be making something super fun. My friend Susie, hi Susie, uh, she had emailed me and sent me a project that she thought I might be interested in and I loved it. So this is what we're making. We're going to be making hidden paperclip tabs. And I thought that these would be something super fun. She sent me a project that was kind of, it's a, a hidden paper clip, but I kind of put my own twist on it. And I really thought that it was a fun idea. This is what we're using. I have a scrap, so you can kind of consider this maybe a scrap busters project. So I brought out my scraps and I cut them already down to size. So we're gonna need two different sizes. The larger size is gonna be the outer portion of the tab and then the, um, the smaller size is what we're gonna be using for the inside. The outer side is uh, two inches by five and a quarter and the inner part is just a quarter inch smaller on both sides. So it's going to be one and three quarters by five inches long. I'll be making sure that I link everything down below, um, all the supplies that I'm using. Also, I will be um, putting the uh, dimensions, I guess, the measurements of these two paper sizes down also in the description box. So if you're interested in any of the products or any of the item supplies that I'm using, I always try to link everything down below. Um, but that's it. So let me go ahead and finish. I'm, I'm saying that's it. That's not it. <laughs> I'm going to be using my notch, which is the notch for the um, to make envelopes and I actually bought this and this came with a scoreboard from Hobby Lobby I think it was like $8.99 or something so I'm using this to make my tabs now you don't need this we can I can give you an alternative and I'll show you that when we get to that I'm also be going I'm also going to be tongue twister um, corner rounding the edges and I will be doing a little bit of stamping, so I'm going to be using my VersaFine Claire in the Nocturne. And for the stamps, I just got out my basics, which are the Eccentric and the Field Notes from Tim Holtz. So I got those out. I'm also going to be adding an eyelet. So we need our um, Crocodile. Of course, you're going to be needing your small um, paper clips. You use whatever uh, paper clips you have. I did make beforehand. Um, I called, I think I called them just covered paper clip dangles. Um, those were jumbo ones and that was this size. And so that's different from what we're going to be making today. The other ones were just covered and then I added like a dangle to it and that was super fun. Um, if you haven't watched that one, those of you that are new, I'll link that down below so that you can watch that one as well. This one is going to be hidden, so you're not going to be able to see the paper clip at all. I will be distressing them a little with the Vintage Photo, the Distress Oxide, and I do have my bone folder just to kind of crease it a little bit sharper and my glue with whatever type of little snippets or um, little tidbits, I guess, that you want to add to your um, tabs. So let's get started. Let me go ahead and move everything out of the way so that I can start and show you how we're going to do this. Let me just kind of put everything where I need it. Okay, this is what we're going to be doing first. So we're going to get the larger size which is the uh, five and a quarter by two inches. And I'm just using my scraps. This is my Tim Holtz, um, I think it's the abandoned scraps. And so I'm going to be doing it this way and just trying to make sure that I get it pretty even. And we're gonna get that um flattened pretty well and then these are just scraps that i had so i'm going to go ahead and just use this so i'm going to also fold them both in half okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and corner round the bottom which is the open part on both of them 
And then for the actual tab, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to be putting this and kind of halfway, I don't want to completely put in on the inside here. So I'm going to do it halfway of that opening where that notch is supposed to be. And so if you see it here, I'm halfway in and I'll punch it there on both sides. So let me do this here on the table because it's easier for me to punch it. And then I'm just going to turn it around and do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so there's my tab. Not bad, right? We're gonna do the same thing on the inside portion. And you can do it this way, it's fine. Instead of turning it over. So there's the smaller inner portion. Okay, now if you don't have the notch punch, um, there are there are other alternatives. I also have this, which is the tab um, die cut that you can use. This one I actually got from Craftelier, and it's from Laura by Laura. And this one, this is the name of the set, if in case you want to see. So it's um, it's called Escritorio, which means desk in English. So, or that's in Spanish. And that's the name of this set in case anybody's interested. So there's that. I'll make sure if it's still available, I'll make sure that I link the, um, the reference number, the item number down below. Now, if you don't have that, then I'm gonna show you another way that we can do it. Let's use this. This is what I actually used. I inked this and sprayed it with the Distress um, inks. And so let's just use this up since I had scraps of this. So let's use this and then we're going to just go ahead and do the inside. But if you don't have any of these things, then I'm going to show you what you can do. Now you don't have to round the corners. I just like the way it looks better. So again, it's the open side that we're rounding. And now for this, what you can do is if you have, let me show you, this. I use this to cut the ends of my, um, the top portions of my, what? <laughs> my um, tags. And so you can just use this. And this could be the top part of your tab. See that? And we'll, we could do the same thing on this one. So there. You can do the same thing. Or if you don't have this, then just cut your corners. And then once you cut one side, you flip it over, you cut the other side. And there you have it. There's your tab. So there's that. Let me go ahead and start working on these. I am going to ink them a little bit. So let's just kind of cover up a little bit of the white on both of them. Now this is something that you can actually make um, like um, the mask make. These are really fun. Once you get started, you're not going to want to stop and you're going to have a ton to keep in your stash. And that's what I like. I like making projects that you can actually like stock up on. So when you have maybe Happy Mail or um, you need little decorations or something um, to adorn your pages for a journal that you may be working on or that you have, then this is a perfect uh, thing to keep on hand. So we're just going to ink these up really quick and then we can move on to how we are going to assemble it. Now what I do is I assemble it first and then I decorate it. Um, but if you feel more comfortable in decorating everything first and then putting it together, then you do you. We're going to get one of our paper clips and we're going to attach it to the small part of the um, 
the inner part of the tab. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glue and I'm just going to glue all around and make sure that I glue on top I'm gluing on top of my um, paper clip and then I'm going to open it and I'm going to lay this part down now I'm doing it this way so that I can see exactly where I'm actually positioning my paper clip because you don't want it right at the crease you want to be able to close it so you need to have the top of your paper clip um, see you can see exactly where I have it and so this is exactly where you need to put it so that it closes um, a lot better and so I'm just going to press that down and then I'm going to go ahead and glue this side and we're going to do the same thing glue all around the edges and then I'm gluing all the way around my paper clip and on top. So this is something that you can be a little heavy handed on when it comes to gluing it down. And then I'm just going to make sure that I have all of my corners and all of my edges, even Steven. And there it is. There it is. Now you have your paper clip. And see, this is going to go like this. See? Cute, right? Now let's go ahead and do the other one. So, again, getting your paper clip, putting it on the inner part of your tab, and then again, going all the way around. You know what I'm thinking? We inked the inner part <laughs> of this and nobody's going to see it. If anything, I would have just done the, the edges. We didn't have to do the top part. But it's okay. So again, I'm going to open it this way so I can get a better grip and see where I'm putting it. So you again, you want to place it not completely at the edge see that and then I'm just going to press it down make sure that it's pretty stuck on there and then we're going to go ahead and do the rest glue the rest of it down all around the paper clip on top And then we're pressing down, making sure we have our corners together. See, easy peasy. There it is, there's your paper clip. Now the fun part, we're going to be decorating them now. Now what I like to do first is because I like to put my eyelet, I'm gonna go ahead and punch it and I'm going to be using the 3 16th side, which is the larger punch. So we'll go ahead and do it on both. Now you just want to make sure that you don't go too far in where your, where your um, paper clip is. So that's why I kind of do it off to the corner. So there's that and we can go ahead and add our eyelets. Come on. And put that in. And then to the other one. See? Not bad, huh? Let me just ink in here a little bit more. Okay. Now we can figure out how we want to decorate them. 
Um, let's see. I do have some of my snippets, my field notes. I also brought out these um, labels that I got. Uh, where did I get these from? Were they from Journal Say? I got all of these different ones and I love them. So I've been using them on my, um, my tabs. Let's go ahead and see if maybe we can add something like this. Let's add maybe a flower or something. This orange one would look really pretty with this, wouldn't it? And maybe a bug. Oh, maybe a mushroom better, right? Yeah. Oh, I like that. And then maybe we can add a little bit of stamping around it. Right? Okay. Let's do that first. I'm going to be cutting off the bottom part because it's too long. But I like the orange on it. It really complements the orange that's on my paper. And then let's do this. So we'll, um, I was going to say ink. I already inked that. I already inked that. We're going to glue this down. I'm not going to go all the way down because I know that I'm going to end up having to cut off that bottom part. So let's do it like this. And then I can cut this off. Okay. And then we can add this here, right on top. I think we're going to decorate the opposite side and then we'll get the stamping so that we can do everything at the same time. So on this side, I think I want to stick with the same little theme here. Ooh, I have that orange bug. That would be cool. Uh, let's see. Should I put another flower? Let's see this one. Put it maybe over here and like this. Yeah. I like this a lot. And then we'll do this. Oh, these have little pieces that need to be punched out. Ooh, I like that better. Okay. Now let's glue this. And put this about here. Okay, and then we're going to put our little bug here. Make sure I get his little legs. And let's see, I think I like it this way. Okay, let's do this one just so that we have everything all together. Okay, let's, we're done with the bugs. Let's go in and do maybe some type of little snippet from here, um, I could put a butterfly. Oh, I don't think this belongs in here, but these are cool. The little books. But we're not going to do that. Let's see what else do I have. We can do maybe the little pointer finger. Just random stuff, whatever we like. This might be cute. Let me cut this down. This is just a little picture of a family next to a really cool car. Let's see, can I corner around this?
Let's see, does that fit? It does. It fits. So let's see, can we put this here? Maybe put this back here. All right, let me ink this. Whoops. And this, I need to put some color on that hand. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and put this glue this down first about here I think it was yeah and then we'll glue this put that about here cute and we'll put the hand pointing up like that and then we can add our little stickers, the little labels and stuff. Let's do this on this side then. Do I have another little picture in here? Let me see. Oh no, it's the same. Uh, let me see. No, I just have this one. We'll put this. We're going to corner around this too. Ink this up really quick. And let's see what we want to add to this side. Should we put this? No, I think I want something. What is this? Daily balance slip. I kind of like that, right? Let me just take off the white edges of this and then we can glue this down. I'm going to put this right at the edge so that it kind of, um, yeah, I wanted it to, let me see, can I move this a little bit? No, too late. I wanted it to stick out at the edge there. And then we'll put this here. Now, let's see, I wanted to add, yeah, this both kind of has a little bit of the blue in it. So let's add blue here. I love these stickers, aren't they cool? Um, let's see. I like this little one. They're washi stickers. I just think that these are so nice. So let's put this one up here. Love that. Then I can maybe stamp something there. Uh, let's see for this side. Mm, maybe, I don't know if I wanna put another label. Maybe this number. <clears throat> what else do we have? Still looking. We could put something little. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one. Because I kind of like the way it looks when you cut it off and then you use the other side. Watch. So we're gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna do the, we'll do the 5,000 here. Make sure it's straight. Nope, it's not. Mm, 
Okay, now we're gonna cut this off and then we can use the other half on the other side. And then we'll just ink it to make sure. Should we do that here? No, let's do it down here. And of course, trying to line it up. Yeah, see? Doesn't that look cool? Love that. Okay. I do want to stamp something there, but let me go and put the little labels on the other one. This one, I think I want to use maybe, do we want to use the brown or maybe the black? I think the black because if we use the brown, I feel like it might just kind of blend in too much. So let's use the black and see. Ooh, I kind of like this one to put down here. Yeah. I like that. And then on this side, maybe put like another half and half. Um, how about this one? Yeah. So we can do order number down here. And then we can put the other half maybe up there. Whoops, got stuck to my scissors. Then we can put this one up here. I didn't cut it all the way. There. Now we can just ink that a little bit. And then I do want to stamp just a tiny bit on them. So let's see, I, I can fit something here. So maybe put, how about this? 1913 and then we'll just put this here and then let me get out my scrap take off a little bit of that ink and then let's see what else on this side um, let's go into this and maybe put figure one and two here and that one's from the field notes making sure I got enough ink cute very cool all right i think we're done stamping with that one now we have one more so let me put this back there goes the ambulance You know, this is my second time. <laughs> this is my second time recording. I did the first intro and then the ambulance went by. Now, for those of you that are new and my the ones that have been with me for a minute know that I live literally down the street from a hospital. And so it's very likely that in... Maybe 80% of my videos, you'll hear the ambulance going by. It's kind of a, a blessing and a curse at the same time to have the, the little, the little, the little, the hospital. I'm thinking about little because I was looking at this to have the hospital nearby. I think this claim check looks cute there. Right? Okay. I think 
that's it. I think that's all we need. Maybe a little, little something here. Let's see. Oh, I know. We'll put these little stars. <clears throat> Excuse me. Perfect. Okay, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that I need, but no, we're good. All right, let's cover that up. And then we can add our little charms and see which ones we want to use. Um, for this one, I'm thinking, look at that. These I also made. So if you're, um, if you haven't seen this one, I have to, I have to keep a mental note, but if you haven't seen when I made the faux, um, what, uh, tags, the faux metal tags, I'll try to remember to link that down below as well. Okay. So there's that one cute right and then this one we can put maybe I'm kind of liking the picture I like the picture on this one so we can add this yep love it so there it is. Let me show you the rest of them that I made. So quick and easy, right? Now, this is what I've been working on. <laughs> and you're going to see how obsessed I've been with making all of them. And I'll show them more up close. But look, look at all of these. I just went to town <laughs> making all of them. Okay, so here's this one. This one is basically just a lot of stamping, and I just thought that this was super cute. And then we added the little charm here. Again, more stamping, and just a couple of the little labels. There's that one. Then we have this gentleman sitting down. Now the background is just part of the paper, and then we have this here with this little charm again I just cut out a circle from a piece of the the faux metal that I made and then we have this guy and I did do a little bit of stamping a little bit of collaging the sticker and then I added another faux metal gear and here's this I had this from I don't I don't know why I had him cut but he was already cut so I just added him here there's that one. Then we have this lovely lady. And then we have this on this side. Oh, I didn't notice that I used the same picture. That's okay. And then I have my little charm. Now, don't mind the K. I did it upside down. <laughs> but there's that. And then we have this fancy lady. These are just little stickers that I had. And I have my full metal that says create. And then I have this on the back. Then here's another fancy lady. Not pretty. And I did do stamping, but I did the stamping in blue because I wanted it to match. And then there's this lady here on this side. And then this, believe it or not, is um, when you buy the salvage tags, um the set you know how on the back it always shows like what's in the pack i cut them out <laughs> so it gave me little itty bitty tags aren't those cute so now i have a bunch because i cut up the the packaging and so now i have little tags and i thought it would be cute to add the little tag on here so there's that then there's this again with the gentleman I love his hat my dad wears those hats not cool and then there's this I just did a big five more stamping 
And then this is part of the junk drawer. It's more of a chipboard type of um, stuff and I just added the hole. So there's that. Then there's this one with the lovely couple. And then I did put another one of those key rings, the key tags. And then we have this on the opposite side. And then let's see, then there's this one, lovely couple. Then we have another tag. This tag, I think, I think my friend D made this one. She sent this one to me in Happy Mail. So thank you, D. And there's the back of this. And then there's this one, bugs. And this, I believe, is just some charms that you get from the Tim Holtz collection. I don't remember which set it is, but there's that one. I made this more like field notes, kind of. I love that. And then there's this one with the mushrooms. Again, more field notes. And then I put my little tag here. And then these are the two we made today. There's that one, and then there's this one. So there it is, guys. There are your um, hidden paperclip tabs. So there it is. Let me again show you. Super fun. All you do, I just open it up just a little bit to kind of ease it in. Come on. And there it is. There's your little tab, right? You can put this at the top. You can put it on the side, however you want. You can decorate it on the side if you wanted to keep them on the side. So you can decorate it this way. But I like the way they look this way better. But whatever, whatever you want, it's you customize it to your heart's content, to whatever fits your projects. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And don't forget, oh my gosh, tomorrow is my 50th birthday. And I'm so excited. I have already, if you, if you didn't watch my Timu haul on Monday, I had mentioned that I'm going to be doing a giveaway for my birthday. So I want to share my celebration with you. So there will be three lucky winners. Um, I will just be sending out um, kind of like Happy Mail, I guess, um, of little goodies that I've made and maybe a little extra supplies that maybe I want to share. Um, I'm not sure yet. I haven't put them together yet. I've been a little busy. But if you haven't um, sent me an email, email me um, and tell me what it is that you love about my channel and what you'd like to see for me to do, maybe. If there's a project that you have in mind that you'd like for me to try out, um, let me know. But that's the way you can enter into the giveaway. So you just send me an email. My email is, is down below. It's uh, sunsetcrafts, the letter N, more, at gmail.com. So that is my email and I look forward to hearing from you. I've received so many already and I love, love, love. I've gotten a little emotional with some of them because I'm just an emotional person. I just have a soft heart. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for all your lovely words because it really means the world to me. So with that being said, thank you so much and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye guys.